हेलो स्नोफ्लेक यूजर्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल थैंक यू ऑल फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माय चैनल इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब येट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इन दी सीरीज ऑफ स्नोफ्लेक्स सर्टिफिकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी स्नोफ्लेक्स कैटलॉग एंड इट्स ऑब्जेक्ट सो वॉट ऑल द ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो डेटा बेस स्कीमाज दीज आर द मेन टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ अ स्नोफ्लेक कैटलॉग देन इन schemas we have tables views table and views also contains the data types then we have some user defined functions stored procedures streams task pipes shares and sequence these all are the objects of means most of them are the objects of any sql database so in snowflake along with these we have few new like streams the task and shares and pipe so these are few new objects in the snowflake database let's deep dive into these objects in more detail in this video we are going to cover the database schemas table types and the view types so now let's move to the database what is database in uh, snowflake so database and schema are used to organize data stored in the snowflake so you already know it's a hierarchical structure where the data the top level we can say uh, the data is stored in the database then it is bifurcated by the schemas and then the last layer is the tables or the views so database is a logical grouping of schemas each database belongs to a single snowflake account a schema is a logical grouping of database objects tables views etc each schema belongs to a single database we can manage snowflake database and schema by using these commands so these commands are create database create database from clone alter database describe database drop database undrop database use database and show database these are related to database and same we have in the schema as well so create schema create schema from clone alter schema drop schema undrop schema use schema and show schema let's see how these commands work in snowflake i have logged into my snowflake account and let's see how these command all work so i am executing create database new database so currently the new database is not here but when i refresh it it is created now what we can do we can clone this new db so i am cloning this new db as a new db1 when i refresh this you can see there is a new database as new db1 i can rename this new db1 to new db rename so when i refresh it the db1 will be renamed to the new db rename i can describe the database so it will show what it uh, what the inside of this database you can see there is two schema which is created by default one is information schema and another is uh, public schema drop database we can create the database we can also do undrop database we can use uh, we can use the command as use database so whenever you are going to execute any command you need to either explicitly define the path of the table or view if you want to perform any operation on it or you can use the statement as use database and use schema so that that database and schema is set at the session level so so databases you can see which all databases are part of the current account so that will be listed here okay now let's see these all uh, schema related commands so currently we are in the new db rename okay you can see new db rename and in the public schema so what we can do we can create a schema student okay once we have created it you can see by default this schema is changed to the uh, the student one so whatever we are going to run now it will be part of the uh, student schema only so we can also create the student schema from the uh, sorry student one schema from the clone so 
if we go uh, inside this rename we can see let me refresh it we can see the student and student one both are the data schemas are available here we can drop this schema uh, we can drop if this uh, schema is available okay i think we have not run the rename one let me run this rename so rename command is done now we can see the name is rename to student rename we can drop this schema okay we can undrop this schema we can also use this schema for our further uh, execution and show schemas so show schema will perform the option uh, operation on the current database so the current database is new db rename it will show all the available schemas in this database let's go ahead and we have the table types so in snowflake we have three types of table one is temporary table one is transient table and one is permanent table so this is by default what, what it means whenever you are going to create any table it will be a type of permanent permanent table will have the time travel associated to it also it will have the fail safe time a time when we can raise snowflake uh, support ticket to get back the deleted object or uh, uh, database from the uh, help uh, by the help of snowflake support so in the time travel we can directly go from ourselves and get back that uh, deleted object but in the case of fail safe we need to raise a ticket with snowflake support team and they are going to restore that object for us okay temporary and transient table so temporary table is just same as the other uh, uh, database supports it just created for that particular session once that session is uh, uh, disconnected that temporary table will no longer be exist temporary table can only be used by the user who has created those in that session okay transient table transient table are the kind of temporary table only means but they will be available or uh, uh, stored for a longer time okay what it mean if we take the difference between the transient and the permanent table transient table will not have the fail safe associated with them what it mean as we know fail safe uh, occupies some of the uh, uh, storage which is ultimately going to be uh, cost to the user so transient table are little bit cost effective as compared to the permanent tables because the fail safe is not associated with the transient table okay we can explicitly drop this table and these tables are uh, 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 available for all the users of that particular uh, uh, schema with proper privileges so we need to remember what all three types of table we have temporary we have transient and permanent table in the certification you also need to see the fail safe feature and the uh, the time travel feature how it affects when you are changing from uh, that the the type of table from one to another okay if we go with one type of table to another type of table how this time travel and fail safe will change okay now let's move to the view types so we have mainly two types of view the normal view which we all know and the generalized uh, materialized views okay materialized view also the similar concept which we can see in oracle or any other database these are the views which uh, occupied the physical space okay the normal views are not occupied any space there is those are like kind of queries which is stored in the metadata and at that time of selecting the data from those views we are just uh, the, the the database just execute the query on the database to get the data and show in the views but materialized view they they occupied the space and we need to define the refresh frequency also for the materialized view so that they will be uh, updated as per the source data in snowflake we have a new term as a secure views secure views is basically is used whenever we are going to share our data with 
सम अदर स्नोफ्लेक यूजर विथ सम अदर अकाउंट स्नोफ्लेक अकाउंट ओके सो फॉर दैट मे बी वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ रीडर अकाउंट और दैट कैन बी अटैंड अलोन स्नोफ्लेक अकाउंट बट इफ वी वॉन्ट टू हाइड अवर अंडरलाइंग क्वेरी एंड ऑल वी कैन क्रिएट अ सिक्योर व्यू एंड वी कैन शेयर विद द अदर स्नोफ्लेक अकाउंट ओके सो दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ व्यूज द मटरलाइज व्यूज नॉन मटरलाइज व्यू एंड द सिक्योर व्यूज सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग